for this problem involving resultant vectors, the three applied forces shown induce a resultant which can be determined by equilibrium equation. So by summing forces x and taking note that all forces going left are negative and all forces going right are positive, we can get our first equation. So f sub of x is equal to r sub of x. That is, the summation of horizontal components of the forces is equal to the horizontal component of the resultant. So we should get P cosine 45 degrees minus 200 cosine 30 degrees is equal to negative R sine 20 degrees. Rearranging, we get P cosine 45 degrees plus R sine of 20 degrees is equal to 200 cosine 30 degrees. And that serves as our first equation. For the second equation, we do the same thing for the vertical component. So summation force vertical should equal to R sub Y. So P sine of 45 degrees plus 200 sine 30 degrees minus 100 is equal to R cosine of 20 degrees. Rearranging, we get P sine 45 degrees minus R cosine 20 degrees is equal to 100 minus 200 sine of 30 degrees. And that serves as our second equation. Now, we have two equations with two unknowns. We can solve these variables using our calculator by going to mode 5, 1. So if here, A represents our first variable, that is P, and then B will represent R, and C will represent the constants. So for the first equation, P has a coefficient of cosine 45 degrees. R has sine 20 degrees. And for the constant, that is equal to 200 cosine 30 degrees. For the second equation, P has a coefficient of sine 45. R has negative cosine 20. And for the constant, that is 100 minus 200 sine 30 degrees. And we get our answer. So here, x represents the first variable P. That is equal to 179.59. So P is equal to 179.59 newtons. And for R, that is equal to... 135.14 Since the results are positive, which means that P and R are directed as shown in the figure. If we should have negative, then it means that R or F acts in the opposite direction as shown in the figure. And that's it for our final answer.